Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 3rd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you a space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, looking at world weather, keeping you aware and prepared. Looking at the last 48 hours on the sun, 304 angstroms, able to see all of the events that have occurred over the past 48 hours. One more M-class solar flare, and as well a C-class, a CME as well. Large plasma filaments here in the incoming position. Looking at outgoing here. This is where the CME occurred. Watch on the right-hand side. You see a small flash there. You get a better look here at a different... There we go. A closer view at this large CME. Plasma rope was connected to the sunspot in the southern hemisphere there. And it... Snaps away from the sun. So this is definitely coming in our direction. Looking here at multi-spectrum, large plasma filament coming on the southwestern limb as well. Keeping an eye on a pretty active cresting sun right now. And as well, these active sunspots that have been producing the M-class and X-class solar flares the last few days. Looking here, 171 angstroms showing the coronal hole, which is departing. Small one in the cresting position, equatorial region, building in the last few frames. Looking at ISWA space prediction spiral, showing this large CME blast. CME encoupled with the solar flare. We will get a glancing blow April 9th into 10th. Solar X-ray flux, flexing in the C range. Showing there two, three M-class flares in the past 36 hours. Looking at a real-time solar wind, 482 kilometers per second. Very sporadic today. Jumping around all over the place. Highest recorded data was 575 kilometers per second. Watching the density bunches as well. Looking at our magnetosphere. Pressure is lifting off a little bit here. So we now we are going to expect some earthquakes. And already seeing things picking up on USGS. Schumann resonance for today. A power of 10. Healthy little spike there yesterday. And that was right as the same time as that M-class solar flare. instantly affected so quality of 12 amplitude of 10 power of 5 now let's have a look at earthquakes per here the last 24 hours recording about 230 across the usgs looking here at walton 3d at the largest reported earthquake today a 5.6 in la paz philippines 22 kilometer depth and this is a pretty busy region today and this was a forecasted region as this was the high concentration of bombardment and as well some intense low pressure cells around there 4.3 there in Lebak, Indonesia 4.4 there North Sumatra as well Hobuk, Tajikistan 4.1 and a 4.3 just north of there south of Kamchatka there with a 4.4 as well Kuril Islands and Hakodate, Hakodate, Japan, North Japan, 4.0. When we go over into Alaska, minor activity continuing, 3.6 being the largest through the region. Looking over Hawaii, earthquakes have moved south of the island. New Caledonia, 4.8, 4.8. And as well, a 4.8 here in Hai Fo Tonga. No deep earthquakes today. Waiting for that pressure to really be released. 
looking across the United States, largest being a 3.6 here in, in Barstow, California, as well a 3.0 there in White City, New Mexico, Dominican Rep or Puerto Rico, seeing minor activity today, largest through the region was a 3.0, so pretty quiet to say the least. Barranca, Peru, 113 kilometer depth, 4.5, as well Calama, Chile, 4.2. And a 5.1 here in San Augustin, Argentina. And Easter Island rocking a 5.0. South Sandwich Islands seeing a 5.2. So things are starting to pick up just a little bit. Stay aware and prepared. And don't forget, we do have 24-7 live stream. You can come by and check out on our planet world weather at any time. Lots of friends from around the world always in there chatting sharing information, sharing your stories, sharing the love. Speaking of which, much love to all of you for letting me into your living rooms right now. Thank you so much, and hello to all of you. This is Mike, Daily Events Worldwide. That's the look at the last seven days. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated, and as well, satellite imagery around the world, starting out with Sangay in Ecuador. Swiss and Ajima, Japan. And now they are all color-coded here. Volcano, uh, Reventador in Ecuador. Nevadas de Ruas, Colombia. Sabincaya, Peru. Decono, Indonesia. Fuego, Guatemala. Semeru, Indonesia. Agung, Indonesia. That's a newly awakened... Volcano, the alert level was raised after a large ash cloud was observed up to 14,000 feet. Looking across satellite imagery right now, pretty big system heading into parts of Central Europe. Overlooking the Pacific, we've got an atmospheric river that is stretching from Thailand to Tofino, B.C., just looking across the Pacific Ocean right now as satellite imagery. And I've been watching this for the last few days, build and build. And look at that. We've got clouds straight across the Pacific Ocean. Moisture falling from Thailand, Taiwan, Japan, straight across the Pacific to British Columbia, and Washington. Pretty strong low over Alaska right now too. Still dropping a lot of snow. Late season snow. Overlooking the rest of the world, quite a big system heading into Russia, just leaving parts of Eastern Europe right now. Other than that, no major storms to talk about. Colder temperatures and snow falling in most of Eastern and Central Europe. As the polar vortex split the other day, as I've been forecasting and talking about here with daily events worldwide. Let's have a look at the weather forecast. Starting out home base, Ontario. Got a low pressure system heading in for tomorrow. But it's going to be blocked by a high pressure ridge. Not going to be much to talk about. Pretty intense golf low. Developing Tuesday into Wednesday. Likely to bring some extreme weather to southeastern parts of the U.S., as well, we've got an Alberta clipper heading out of Alberta and Saskatchewan this week. And by Wednesday, Thursday, we'll be over Ontario, drying up a lot of that Gulf moisture. Snow on the backside. And then overlooking the West Coast, you do see low pressure centers still grinding in and throwing in a lot of moisture along the coastline. Atmospheric river affecting BC for the next few days. Overlooking Europe, pretty strong low there off northwestern Africa. And low pressure center there moving in over Sweden and Finland. Going to bring quite a bit of snow and colder temperatures further south. No major changes over Africa or forecasted. Southeast Asia, definitely watching a couple tropical systems here develop. As well, another one here over New Caledonia. 
Looks like that'll be forming Wednesday into Thursday. But then looking into next week, Saturday to Sunday, watching one, two, three tropical systems develop. One for the Philippines, one for Guam, and one for India. So intense systems developing across the northern hemisphere right now. And we've seen a lot of extreme weather break out across the U.S. Watch for a lot of moisture to be heading into Japan this week. And then in the long-range forecast, we're going to be seeing a very big low-pressure system over the Pacific Ocean. Stay tuned to Daily Events Worldwide, where I give you world weather forecast and daily updates. Overlooking Australia, low-pressure center moving out of southeastern parts. Off the coast is going to bring waves of moisture over to New Zealand right up until Thursday. Spotty rain showers across the southeastern parts of Australia and southwestern. Going to leave you here with a quick look at the last few image, images of weather little forecast here for South America it could see some extreme weather. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.